I'm Carl Modern. I'm a retired first class petty officer, uh, anti-submarine warfare uh, operator, air, naval air crewman. Uh, I next went to VP-8 at Brunswick, Maine, which I was a crewman on the uh, P-3 Orion as a radar operator, electronic warfare. Uh, the Cold War, for me, that's where I served. I'm a classic Cold War sailor. I joined right after Vietnam had ended. My reserve unit was not called up for the first desert storm, and I retired before the uh, Iraq and Afghanistan situation had started. So we were involved in surveilling the Soviet fleet, both in the helicopters and later when I was in P-3s. In P-3s, I was later involved in the blockade of Serbia. They had a Serbian submarine that had that submarine got underway towards our battle groups over there. We would have been cleared to uh, drop torpedoes on it. Never did. But uh, I was also involved in the Haitian blockade, trying to keep these Haitian refugees from storming our shores. Uh, in P-3s, I was also involved in the war on drugs, doing uh, uh, drug boat surveillance. So, uh, as far as my service, I, I'm right in that category of Cold War sailor. Did my training at Jacksonville with BP-30. I served with active with BP-8 in Brunswick, Maine. And I was a reservist with BP-93 out of Michigan, Selfridge, Michigan, and uh, later I retired from BP-64 at Willow Grove. We deployed to Panama, uh, Puerto Rico, NAS Key West, Bermuda, Sigonel, Sicily, Keflavik, Iceland, we, we were everywhere with P3. P3 was never far from anywhere in the, United, in the world. And you could be, in eight hours, you could be just about any spot that a P3 was, could land. Uh, the, the, range, the fuel range was on there was incredible, 12 to 14 hour flight with uh, max extension, uh, max fuel load. But the P3 was a, a very good surveillance plane we kept uh, again, kept track of the Soviet fleet, and later, uh, you know, the war on drugs, and it could also had search and rescue capability. You could go out and locate a survivor and launch a rescue package if if required. But basically, went out and did a lot of looking for lost ships. That sort of thing that did happen quite often as well. I did a tour of recruiting from '82 to '85 at NRD Buffalo. I. Uh, Ended up uh, being discharged from the regular Navy in May of '85, and affiliated 11 days later with uh, VP-93 at Selfridge uh, Air Guard Base in Michigan. So we had the northwest corner of Selfridge Field at Michigan, and it was the Navy facility. And again, that was a, a great tour for the next 10 years. I made some friends for life there in uh, VP-93 that I still have today. And, even in the reserve P3 community, we we were no longer hunting Soviet submarines. It, it's almost like the Soviets didn't have any money to deploy their sub, subs anymore. And we got big into the uh, drug surveillance and coast, uh, assisting the Coast Guard in uh, finding these drug smugglers. The unit was VP-64, the Condors. I was there for my last uh, two years in the Navy Reserves. Uh, we did the trips to Panama, Puerto Rico. Jacksonville, uh, and I believe Bermuda was still open at that time. Uh, we would fly missions out of those locations, uh, training missions from Willow Grove. Uh, I wasn't there very long, but uh, I enjoyed getting down to Phillies games and Flyers games in downtown Philly. That was, was a nice base. Uh, I wasn't there very long, but uh, I did, did retire from there when my 20 years came. Was kind of the end of the line for for me there, but uh, I ended up doing 20, 20 years of six months of, of combined active and reserve service. I retired in February '96.